Hello and welcome to the Super Data Science series on pattern recognition. Well, we're going to focus on using elements of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and pattern recognition to identify handwritten digits. Now before we get started, we need to take a look at really what is pattern recognition. It may be familiar to some of us, it may not, that's no problem. Pattern recognition is a branch of machine learning that focuses on the recognition of patterns and regularities in data. Sounds simple enough, but pattern recognition is highly applicable. We see it in big data, we see it in cybersecurity, obviously artificial intelligence, machine learning, general programming. You know, Pattern recognition is something that I would say humans have always done. Now we're doing it very well and we're teaching computers to do it very well. Just take a look at example, uh, idea of pattern recognition would be studying singularities or elements within data to identify fraud to identify trending patterns, to identify you know, really what you can take away from your data set, from the data that you're working with. So again, it's highly applicable, it's very useful, and we're gonna use this series to educate ourselves and to learn more. And to quickly touch on it, pattern recognition, the uses now that we're seeing develop with AI and machine learning, it's being used for object detection, classification and, com and computer vision segmentation. And it's broken down into two classification methods, supervised and unsupervised classification. In addition, you know, to keep this series moving quickly, we're going to be using uh, scikit-learn. If you're not familiar with scikit-learn, that's no problem. I may say scikit-learn, I may say sklearn. It's just some tendencies when working with it. Um, and I'm referring to it, you know, just to eliminate any confusion. Uh, we're also going to be using pandas, numpy, if we end up using any other additional libraries or modules, we'll quickly show you how to import them, but it's generally the same. If you can know how to import sklearn, numpy, pandas, you'll be able to import any other module uh, and package that we need. That's not a problem. Moving on, we're gonna be taking a look at elements or methodologies of pattern recognition, such as a random forest, KNN, stochastic gradient descent, and support vector machine. Now, we're not going to use each of these for our series. We are more than likely going to use Random Forest and KNN, our uh, nearest neighbor. But we will touch on briefly just, you know, what they perform, some general information about them. In addition, we're going to be using the MNIST data set. It's probably one of the de facto go-to data sets for uh, pattern recognition for, for challenges and maybe getting started with certain AI machine learning modules. So I highly recommend that you take a look, get familiar with it, you know, ex explore, experiment, and dive further into the documentation that you can find here. Uh, if you're looking for some outside resources, just Google pattern recognition and you can come up with endless results, machine learning and AI methodologies. So I highly recommend that you take a look in that as well. A lot of them are free. If you're looking for, you know, a very reputable or very recommended textbook you can look at the pattern recognition and machine learning textbook provided at this link and if you want to get a head start or if you want to experiment further again take a look at sk learn you can take a look at kaggle do some browsing do some searching see how people set things up or similar pattern recognition examples it's a great way to see how you can approach a task like this and moving on, take a look at the scikit-learn page. Um, take a look at the documentation. If not, you know, we're going to go through it. So don't worry about completely learning everything to do with scikit-learn at this point. Now we're going to touch on it. As we go through it, you can compare what we're doing with the documentation. Take a look and so forth. We will be setting up in the next series your environment, getting everything ready, getting everything ported in. I highly recommend you to subscribe to the Super Data Science channel where you'll get weekly up-to-date information. You'll learn about what's going on in the industry. It's very informative, you know, it provides a lot of content. Great for everyone just looking for information within the industry. Also, please feel free to share, comment, like the video. If you have any questions, please post them, you know, so we can help answer them. And I will see you in the next video. All right.